2016 Toyota Corolla came in the shop customers complained about nothing as far as interior goes working wipers are not working radio does not work climate control does not work windshield wiper do, do not work although headlights do work windows are not working and no power steering assist and he's also talking about uh, ABS and traction light is on so let me start this car so as you can see you have brake light on power steering light on ABS and traction light is on and windows do not work radio does not work climate control does not work and windshield wipers don't work so first thing first we'll scan it and see what kind of codes we have so scanning after scanning the car got a couple communication codes um, on the instrument cluster it's lost communication with brake system control module then it's also talking about power string control module losses communication third one same thing lost communication with body control module B that is under um, instrument cluster and under engine computer I got the same code U0129 lost communication with brake system module same thing with transmission control module same fault lost communication with brake control module could it be can issue that could be that could be um, the issue as well but we'll check the can system first before we go any uh, before we do anything else since we have communication faults chances are maybe can issue so if we have good communication or if, if we do not have any faults under can system we should have 60 ohm resistor value on the entire CAN system so to do that take the negative cable out pretty much isolating the whole circuit and then we'll measure resistor value between CAN high and CAN low so here's a breakout box connected to DLC right here so one of my lead is in can low and the second lead is in can high and we have 60 ohm value that tells me that there's no fault with can system although we have communication fault but can system is working uh, as far as the values go so we'll scope we'll scope out the, the can high and can low and see if we have a good communication We'll connect the battery up and use our scope and see if we have good scope pattern. Just as I expected, can system is working. It's can high and this is can low. So channel A is can high, it's so an orange one, and channel B is a green one, which is can low. So they're both starting off with 2.1 volts. Can high goes up to 3.5 volt and can low goes down to 1.5 volt. These are the specs. I found them on the Toyota uh, manufacturer manual. These are the specs and our can system is working as designed. So now we're going to have to see which uh, these three modules that they're complaining um, the lost communication with brake control module and we have to go um, see by body control module which is right over here inside this is a body control module so under bottom side of the body control module there are a bunch of fuses we'll check fuses and looks like customer has aftermarket 
something on, but I don't think this is an issue. So, let's check all the fuses, see where we go with that. So, I'm um, by, the, by the control module, by driver's side, some brake pedal right there. And these are the fuses, so we're going to check one, all these fuses one at a time and see what's going on. So let's turn the key on, start checking fuses. So I checked all the fuses, this row, some fuses are working and some are not, that may be normal. So for example, this fuse is working and this working as well, this working as well. This doesn't work, this doesn't work, this doesn't work, this doesn't work. That maybe car has to be running or something. So, what I found is fuse number, f the 5 amp fuse, I'm not sure what's what number that is, has my test light lights on one side and the other side it does not. Fuse next to it, 10 amp lights light lights up on both prongs but this just only one side so let's see what's going on with this fuse this is a 5 amp fuse let's try to focus 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 there you go that's 5 amp fuse and it's blowing. Looks like it had a dead short. It's a good short actually. There's nothing left inside. So we'll go in the wiring diagram and see this fuse is for what. What does it feed and what it controls. So here's a diagram for the power distribution center of this car. That is in the engine bay. That fuse box scroll down same thing by the engine so there's an engine bay and that is by driver's side junction block assembly that's where we were so looking at I couldn't find anything as far as the fuse numbers goes and stuff but I did look at that fuse fuse 7 0.5 amp and it was next to it was a 10 amp fuse in between there was a 5 amp fuse so if you look at this fuse since that one's blowing this fuse feeds all these things inside the car engine controls maybe it's a communication area of engine where it's engine computers complaining about it cannot talk with the brake module Cruise control, it's not working. Exterior light, warning lights were not working, some of them. Transmission, we couldn't put car in park, reverse, neutral, drive, unless we have to manually push the little button in and uh, force, car, f force it to go in the drive or reverse. ABS light was on, as we saw. No sound, no navigation. SRS, SRS light was on as well too, um, does not have power top, instrument cluster, electronics, some of them were not working, there goes power steering, EPS, as we stated climate control does not work, and windshield washer was not working either. So let's put the fuse in and see where we go with that. Okay, it's a brand new fuse, fuse is good as you can see. These are not mini fuse, I guess they call it low profile fuse. They're kind of tough to find actually. So I got them from the parts store and let's install this fuse. So the fuse is in, start the car. Power steering light went out, ABS light went out. I have power steering, radio is working, climate control is working now. Our wipers are working and 
our windows should work as well too. Yes. That's it. So we'll clear the codes and rescan it, see if there are any other codes store or not. But uh, definitely, it's a fix. Um, lesson learned is what? Check the fuses, of course. But since we had communication codes, first thing first we checked was CAN system. Since CAN system was good, then we moved down to which fuse controls what. And that's where the wiring schematics uh, come into play and having a good information and exhaustion sources, see what's going on with the car and go with that. I uh, hope you guys like it and uh, we'll see you guys next time.